Matt Johnson here, and this is the seventh annual portable modification get together. Premise of the event, tricked out portable fish houses, but it doesn't stop there. We have vendors here, free food, lots of great seminars and giveaways, an event for the whole family, packed full of entertainment. It's ice fishing, yes it's summer, but it's never too early to think about the hard weather season. Again, Matt Johnson here, portable modification get together, seventh season, hope you enjoy it. John Marshall from Markham Technologies here along with Brad Th Hawthorne. We're at the uh, Thorn Brothers Portable Modification get together. This is the kickoff to the ice season for us. This is our first consumer show where we get to show everybody what's new for this year. One of the biggest things that we've got going this year is our reward card offer is back. So you're getting a $50 uh, reward card with the LX3 or LX5 this year and $25 with the showdown. One of the biggest things we've done with underwater cameras is put an automatic camera panner inside the box with every camera. So the 380, the 620, the 625, and the 825 SD all come with three camera panners. That's a $50 Well, you're 50 selling a bill. complete camera package. Yep, rotation is a big part of cameras. But the thing that's got everybody pumped up here is the LX7. You know, the response on this, you gotta agree, John, has been great. Customers are coming up, they're pushing buttons on it, they're loving the features on it. The guy that wants the eight inch dial finally has it right here. You can have an eight inch dial on there. It's gonna read out your cone angle on there too. That's been the one thing that the customers have been saying they absolutely love. They're, it's gonna tell them whether they need to move five feet away or if the fish are right directly below them. It's truly a unit that's gonna help you put more fish on the ice. It's been fun to be here and uh, you know, these, these products are our babies and to hear people embrace them and hear what they have to say, it's been a really fun treat for us. Absolutely, absolutely. We're waiting for ice. Yep. Troy Tufto with Otter Outdoors. I want to talk to you a little bit about our new shelters going into the 2011-2012 season. As you can see here, we've got our new black ice camo. This is the Wild Lodge. We've got a 600 denier exterior. We've got a full thermal roof this year. It's a sewn and quilted thermal roof has 600 denier exterior, a 300 denier interior with a high loft polyfill insulation in between. It's going to help you out when you're out in the cold, getting that condensation over your head dripping. It's going to eliminate that for you this year. Let's take you inside the new wild and show you the features that are new for 2011 and 2012. I want to point out our padded bench seat comes standard with all of our wild houses this year. We've modified it so that you can tilt up the bench and get to your gear whether the house is collapsed or whether it's open and, and you're fishing, which is a nice improvement. The other thing I want to point out is it sits on top of an otter sled. And everybody knows the otter sled is the best in the industry, strongest, toughest. It has uniform thickness, it's roto molded. But the one thing you want to notice is the depth. You're going to be able to get all your gear in here. You're going to be able to keep it under the sidewall so it's going to stay secure when you're out running on the ice. Another thing that sets Otter apart is our framing system. We have the oversized square tube aluminum framing. It's stronger than round tube. And what we did this year is we anodized all of the receiver tubes. So it's almost like a satin finish on it. It's very smooth. It's going to allow for the operation of the poles to be much smoother and glide a lot easier. Another nice feature and you know, something that we've worked on hard is finding the right material for the windows. The material that we use in the Otter windows are crack resistant. You can take this put it in your deep freeze overnight, take it out, crunch it up into a ball and it will not crack. So you're going to be real happy with the longevity of our windows. The other thing that we've worked hard on is finding the proper nylon material for anything as such as our wind support poles, anything uh, that has nylon in our house. We've taken this product out into the lab and we put it in a 70 below freezer for four hours and we've taken it out and done this to it and it'll come back to original without discoloration or cracking. Another smart accessory that Otter came up with this year is called the hitch pivot. And for guys that have ice fished a lot, they know what this is going to do for them. Basically when you get back to your truck after a day out on the ice, you need to generally take your hitch off to get into the back of your bed. Well with the hitch pivot, we've eliminated that necessity. Basically all you do when you get back, you pull two quick Release pins, lift it up, and it self stores right over the top of your sled. No more uh, taking the hitch off when it's 20 below and trying to get it back on again. That's another smart accessory from Otter. So that's just a quick rundown of our Wild T600 Lodge. This model comes in three sizes this year. Lodge being the biggest, then we've got the cabin and the cottage. 
You can find more information at www.otteroutdoors.com. My name is Dan Jackson. This is my first year at the event. Uh, this is my Fish Trap Pro. It's a 1995 model that I've remodeled probably 20 times. Uh, I decided this year I was going to do as many possible things as I could to it and still keep the weight down. So I have a HDS-5, a Vexilar camera, uh, rope lights, auger rack on the outside, which is kind of unique. I don't think anybody's ever done one of those. And it works. Uh, the whole thing weighs about 70 pounds. I put this reflectic insulation on it. All I need is a small 4,000 BTU heater. I'm good all day. Of course, I wear a Frable snowsuit. It, I took all the metal out, put a fire, uh, plywood, quarter inch plywood deck in it. This is my tackle box, which comes out. My gulp alive, all my plastics so they don't leak. Uh, I have a minnow bucket that works. My rod rack is made out of uh, plastic gutter pipe. All the electronics are under the seat, which comes right off. My batteries and everything are inside, and there's my camera. And uh, on the bottom, I have runners. That's basically it. Hi, I'm Dan Hogue with Cold Snap Outdoors, and this is a brand new product from Cold Snap Outdoors. It's called the Cold Snap Reel Wrap. This is a totally new way to attach your ice fishing reel onto your rod. Uh, you can see we're using some ultra strength uh, bands to hold that on and the nice thing about these are is once we attach them it's easy to uh, remove, roll ahead, roll forward, you can remove your rod in an instant. The other thing you notice about this is there's no tape to cover up uh, either a, a nice uh, cork handle. Uh, also the tape tends to uh, wreck the cork if you try to remove it and it covers up any of the artwork or anything like it would be on this one. There's also nice grip. You're not going to drop this and you have a great feel because the bands are nice and tight and trans transfer any of the fish's bites uh, up through the rod handle blank. Um, we sell these in a pack. They come uh, four, enough to do four rods and reels and they're for five dollars. Uh, so that's a brand new product from Cold Snap Outdoors. The other product that we have that uh, we've got a lot of traction with is the Cold Snap rod clamps. Now these go on the portable poles inside your shack. Uh, you can see here we have one configured to hold an uh, LED light. They rotate so you can set it any way you want. If you're going to tie on a new jig in the dark, uh, they pop right off and you can move them, put them in the bags inside of your fish house and uh, you're ready to move. The other thing we use a lot for is we'll stack two or three rods. Uh, tournament fishermen like them. You can have two or three rods, one with a a bigger jig, one with a smaller jig. If they don't like the one you're presenting to them, you can quick switch out and, and try another rod and another reel presentation. Um, so that's uh, another product from Cold Snap Outdoors. Um, those are $6 for two of them and they come in a two pack. Uh, but the flagship of uh, all of our products is the Cold Snap Blade Protector. Now if you haven't seen these work before, no more old school bands. Uh, they snap right on, goes on like that. No more uh, bands to break. Uh, Their lifetime guarantee. You ever have a problem, send it back to Cold Snap. We'll replace it. The nice thing is, is it doesn't come off when you're pulling it out of your truck. If it catches on your gear, the weight has to be down on the auger like this to release it, and then it comes out. Uh, we make covers for Strike Master, Jiffy, and Artism that snap right onto your. Uh, your existing auger blades. You can find these products at coldsnapcover.com or coldsnapoutdoors.com on the web or at select retailers. Hi, I'm Mike Ketchmark with Strike Master, and every year fishermen come up to us and ask us what's new uh, in the ice fishing world and what we can do, what products we can make to help their ice fishing uh, easier. And new this year is our Big, big Volt Ice Auger. Uh, this is designed primarily for the uh, wheelhouses and the permanent ice shacks. One of the hardest holes to reopen or to drill is a non-frozen or partially frozen uh, hole. So we've designed a 
we kind of simplified the auger. We've designed the big volt to have just a, a power hookup. Um, this cable will st uh, remain flexible to about 35 degrees below zero. Um, it's a simple push button operation. It's got a three stage chipper drill design. So for reopening the holes in a fish house, this is ideal. As well as when these guys invest a lot of money in their houses, they don't want to have smoke or gas smell in their shacks. So we're selling this in an eight and a quarter and 10 and a quarter inch drill. Uh, it'll be at all your major retail stores this year, or you can uh, visit us online at strikemaster.com. Hi, my name is Eric Hoffman. I'm with Solution Products. I'm here to show you our pr new product line. We have the round tackle boxes. We have them available in black and blue. And new this year, we have them in blaze orange. And then our other product line, we have our Rose Creek line of fly boxes. They can hold a lot of different size flies, from as small as a midge to a large saltwater fly. They have a unique tapered clip. It's tapered and has teeth at the top, so it really holds the hooks in there very securely. And uh, we have one specifically designed for ice jigs called the Polar Box. And then we also have a spoon box for holding your vertical jigging spoons and a hybrid box which can hold jigs and your, and your vertical spoons. We're available at many fine retailers and you can also find us at solutionproducts.net. My name is Ben Ekram. I'm with Jiffy Ice Augers. I'm from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I'm up here visiting Thorn Brothers Ice event this year. Uh, we're featuring the Jiffy Pro 4 propane auger for you guys this year. This is the latest uh, auger they've got out. Runs on propane. There's no choke, no prime, and it's a quiet, easy running motor. It starts uh, usually right on the first pull. This auger came out last year as a prototype auger and was available uh, in a limited basis. This year the auger will be available on a very wide basis uh, at almost every retailer in the Minnesota area. Um, they sell for about $519 for the 8 inch and uh, I, I just can't say enough about it. It is a good quiet motor. It starts every time. Uh, there's no choke, no prime. Uh, it's got an easy on switch. It's always on. So pretty much maintenance free. It's four stroke power, so it's really quiet. Uh, runs on propane, which will give you about 50 to 75 holes per tank. Uh, for more information, you can go to the website at jiffyonice.com and the full product line is available this year. Old Snap Outdoors. Uh, we're from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and we drove up uh, just this morning, and uh, this is my display of 1970s and early 80s uh, ice fishing technology. I guess the first place to start would be the, the trap itself. This, uh, according to Dave Gens, he made this one in his garage. Um, this was the second generation, so to speak, uh, where his wife didn't sew the, the canvas top. This was sewn by a, a canvas company that he had do it. Um, but he built the rest of the base, and you can see here it's actual wooden base and it's got uh, storage underneath there but this is one of the original original early fish traps um, some of the other things I guess we have uh, is a, the most early Vexilar that uh, was ever built this is called the sound off sonar uh, it still works we got it all hooked up spins around but this was set meant to uh, set an alarm so you could set it for a bottom alarm or theoretically a fish alarm um, but yeah, still works probably just like it did when it came out of the box in 1969. This was another Vexilar product from the 70s. It's called the Zonar. This was meant to uh, drop down the hole until you hit the right zone of temperature. And then you coincided it with whatever species of fish you were trying to hunt. And you uh, looked at the lines on the cable to see how much uh, depth you had down. So then you would uh, fish for the whatever species was at that temperature. Um, theory that I don't know if they still use anymore, I haven't heard of it, but uh, I think at the time it shows kind of some interesting innovations by Vexilar. Uh, some of the other stuff we have in here is just some basic um, old school fishing rod and uh, some old uh, school uh, fish poles. This one's got the original cork. 
Uh, and a lot of this stuff still had the uh, manuals and everything with it. So that's my display of uh, 70s and early 80s ice fishing technology. Good afternoon. I'm Wes Noyce from Stillwater, Minnesota. This is my first year at the event, but I will show you my, my system for loading my fish house with the push of a button without lifting. There's a wrench installed in the front of the truck. When you get done, you pull the rollers out. The power from my winch is taken off my seven pound plug. When I'm done, I'm plugging, I'm ready to go.